Hi, I'm Alessandra Ferrucci and welcome to episode 4 of Groundwork to Greatness. Today we'll be covering clipping and bathing. In the beginning of teaching her how to be clipped, I just came up to her with the clippers. I didn't turn them on for a few minutes, just touching them with her, making her get used to the cord and stuff on the ground. Then when she was good, I just turned them on and they were just on next to her. I wasn't clipping her yet, just to make sure that she was calm and quiet. And then I started clipping her very slowly, you know, scratching her with pets and treats just to make it a positive experience. I was only doing short little spurts of clipping and then stopping and then clipping and then stopping. Uh, this video is fast forwarded because I was clipping her for about a good 30, 45 minutes. Um, like I said, I was just reading her body language, you know, moving stuff around, just going slow, reading how she is, you know, clipping and then stopping and telling her she's a good girl and scratching her, keeping her relaxed and calm in the situation. And then after a while, she really settled in and it was pretty easy. She was still moving around a little bit. She would get a little nervous every once in a while. But other than that, she, she handled it like a pro. I ended up clipping her entire body. I didn't clip her legs to help keep uh, some hair on there for the mosquitoes since we are in South Florida. But other than that, she did very well uh, for the first time clipping. And I think, you know, just make it a positive experience for them and to stay quiet and calm and relaxed with them and just take it by how they are feeling and, you know, don't rush it. If you need to do it in a few times, that's fine. She was pretty quiet about it. And I think like it felt good to get all that hair out from her so she was pretty good and like I said just a lot of patience go slow you know introduce it to the face with it off and just give them treats and scratches and let them know it's all okay so when you first start bathing them what I do is I start with a sponge just so that they get used to the water coming off of them and that they get used to water being around them versus first starting with the hose. Rand's been getting bathed for a few months, so she's pretty good with it. She's actually kind of curious what I'm doing with a sponge. Um, the second thing is to just get the hose near them, get them used to a hose because it does kind of look like a snake in their eyes. And then, you know, you can spray it to the side until they get used to the water. Um, again, start lower. Um, don't go right up for the neck and the shoulders. Start at the legs. You know, this took me about, you know, two weeks to do with her. I did it step by step. Sponge, you know, then just the hose and running the water next to her, then just her legs. And slowly I worked my way up. Um, and now she's pretty quiet about it. You know, just take your time. Go slow. You know, make sure that they don't freak out. Don't keep the water in super high pressure. Um, I think using a hose nozzle with, like, the shower mode on works best. Um, and, yeah, just, you know, read them see how they're feeling she she loves water especially if you have heat like this down here in south florida where it's you know 92 during the day but she comes inside and you know she gets a nice cold shower she's very happy so my advice would also be um teach them how to bathe when it's hot outside so that way they enjoy it because it'll cool them down or if you live in a cold climate maybe try using hot water and keeping them relaxed uh, and then, you know, of course, if you're bathing them when it's cold outside, you might want to get them used to putting a cooler on so that way they don't get, you know, the chills. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Just take your time, introduce the water slowly, um, you know, with a sponge first to get them used to the water on them, and then slowly work your way towards keeping the hose near them, and then spraying their legs, and then slowly spraying the rest of their body. And again, when you go to introduce water to your face, uh, you're going to want to start with a sponge. 
Uh, some people only use sponges and they don't use the hose on the face. I, I like using the hose on the face, you know, gently, so that way you can get all the sweat and dirt off. But just introduce it with the sponge slowly, and then, you know, you can either use mist or just a really, really, really light shower. And just go on the sides of the face and then eventually onto the top. Uh, Rain's pretty good about this. Uh, she actually drinks the water most of the time from the hose. Today she didn't really want to, but she doesn't mind it and just make sure that they are okay because they can like rear up and run backwards and it can get dangerous if you don't do it slowly and introducing the water to the face correctly. That sums up episode four. Thank you for watching on our look forward to seeing you in two weeks when we work on trailering and dealing with tractors.